everybody. This is me, Edward Jones, back with a new video. This video is on the topic of regulators uh, in the SACF environment. This is a follow-up um, to, to two videos that uh, the Prepared Mind has done um, called the Wild West. And it was basically him talking about what made the West wild as people nowadays see it. And he basically described it as it, it was there was an enforcement of common law through a very simple principle: you do X, you get your ass shot off. <laughs> which is you know, it, which is very simple. It's it was a uh, cut and dry. There's no uh, you know, not a lot of details into it. You know, you, you just you were just put down. You just killed. You know, there was no, there was very little tolerance of thievery, very little tolerance of rape, a lot less than what it is nowadays. Um, I think, and I think that's a, I think that's a, uh, that's a, a problem with our, within our society. We want to call a lot of these actions out for what they are. They're evil, um, and they're 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 evil actions that should not be that should not be put up with. It is also kind of a follow-up, or more or, less, more, or less, more or less a response to um, two videos that a YouTuber named Sensible Bloke has done, entitled "80% of Preppers Don't Need Rifles," and in which he talks about uh, preppers in the seed, you know, that they don't need a rifle, and you know, one of the things he brings up, you know, you have people going out there playing policeman. Yeah, and I, and I disagree. I don't think you're gonna have. To, I don't think you are gonna have people out there playing policemen. Not in this, in, at least in the sense that what what police work is as of right now. You're more or less gonna just gonna have people doing what the prepared mind talked about. You're gonna shoot someone's ass off if they if they try to commit certain actions, um, or commit or rather commit certain crimes. Uh, and, and you know, it's funny. This actually uh, this remind me of. Of something from the game Fallout 3 for those of you who are gamers out there, Priest are uh, uh, <laughs> the Arizona um, the Arizona's watching this video, and what you talk, in which in the game Fallout 3, you have a continuum of good and evil, and if you did certain actions, uh, you were, you stay if you stayed within the good or very good continuum, if you get a certain reach a certain level in the game uh, through experience points, you are, you have the option of getting the Lawbringer perk. Essentially, what it is is, if you get this perk, you're able to join an organization within the game. Now, mind you, the game is set in uh, basically post it's a post-apocalyptic environment. Basically, it's DC, in part in parts of Maryland and Virginia, blown the bits. And there's still some buildings that are standing. Some still some areas you can even go into the mall in the game. But you can join this organization called the Regulators, in which um, you know their mission is. To pull up my computer. Uh, from the the captain of the regulators, her name is Sonora, her name is Sonora Cruz. She says, "We are the regulators. We dedicated our lives to bringing the evil to justice. And out in the wasteland, there's only one brand of justice: the gun. Simply put, common law will be enforced by this. Uh, you know, no. Basically, it's." No BS. If you if you murder, if you if you steal, if you cheat, if you rape, you're getting you're getting killed. Um, as simple as that. And basically in the game, you know they have uh, it's a you know their uniform in a sense is, is a leather duster. They wear engineer boots, and um, you can you know wear you can wear a hat of your choice in the game. But essentially, what you do is if you kill anyone in the, any any uh any non-playable character in the game that's evil, or very evil, and when you check their inventory, you they have a finger. You can chop you chop their finger off, <laughs> you bring it back to headquarters, and you turn it in for a bounty. And, you know, the bounty being um, X number of bottle caps, because in the game, bottle caps are currency. But, um, that's, that's, some, that's, that's another discussion. Um, so simply put, you're gonna, have, you're, I believe you're gonna have people, whether it be individuals or groups, within certain communities, doing things like that. Maybe not, you know, maybe not chopping off fingers and you know, collecting bottle cap bounties, but you are gonna have, you are gonna, have, I believe you are gonna have a group of people who would, and who would be enforcers of common law. And the reason why I, I strongly believe this, is simply put, 
I would actually participate in that kind of stuff. You know, you know, I, I said it. You know, there I said it. You know, that's because I, um, I believe that there is a certain action that should not that should not be tolerated. Um, as I'd say that you can, you know, you'd be out there, I guess, looking for a fight, but you recognize when a fight is actually warranted. There's, you know, if you can't, if you see someone getting hurt, you go out and. So it's only reasonable that you would go out and help that person. Um, and if it came if it came down to killing the people, killing the attackers, so be it. Um, they shouldn't have been attacking. They, you know, they shouldn't have been they shouldn't have been raping anyone. They shouldn't have been trying to murder someone. They shouldn't have been murdering anyone. They shouldn't have been stealing from anyone. Especially at a time where you know a lot of people would be are at their are at their most vulnerable. And it's it's it can be seen. I think it should be seen as as as, be, as members of members of the community uh, stepping up stepping up to the plate uh, and the, you know to defend those around them. Um, if you see, as you notice, a lot of my videos I have a poster of the Boondock Saints um, in, in, in the background, and that's because you know it's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite films. You have two brothers who they, you know who they believe. That, um, they were given the mission by God to um, strike down evil in every which way they can. You know, they have their friend Rocco join along with them. You know, he's he's kind of a screw up, but he does, but he, you know, he he, does, he gets the job done. Uh, because you know, think about it. A, a lot of the, there are there, we have, we do have evil people in our society. And I'm not, I'm not talking about people who have certain lifestyles that don't harm anyone else. That's the that's the big thing. They don't harm anyone else by from some of the th from some of the things that they do, from the way they dress or anything like that. That's just them being them. But there's some people who, you know, they, they do they do despicable acts, and they um it's it's not it's not taken serious it's not taken seriously. Maybe it's because current living has made has made us a bit softer, to where those act you know certain actions don't really uh, speak out to us. Uh, but you know when I read the news, I look at some of the stuff that goes on. I say well, you know it's, it's it's a damn shame you know some that, that there are people out there doing these kind of things. And I, I wonder and I always ask I've always wondered myself I you know are there is there anyone out there that would help them? I believe I believe there are people out there currently who who, who are doing that as of, as we as I speak during I guess after SHTF or even during SHTF it I think the the dark the darker side of the darker side of humanity is really going is really going to be shown to everyone who have who have not seen it in you know in today's times and I believe there will be people. Who will respond to it accordingly? Who will, who, who will deal with it? You know, I hope. I, you know, I, and as I said before, I would take. I would take part in that kind of activity um, if the opportunity presented itself. I wouldn't want. I don't. I wouldn't want to. I don't like harming people, but I don't like seeing other people get harmed by other people. So, you know, it's like you know, where basically I, I have to, uh, there's a, there's a, it come to a point where I would have to take a stand. And other people out there have to take a stand. You know, are you gonna, you know, are you gonna stop this person from doing what they're doing? Or are you gonna help them do what they're, or, you know, are you gonna, or are you gonna help them by, help them, uh, passively by not doing, by not putting up any resistance, or actually cooperating with them? So I wouldn't want to cooperate with the evil if I can help it. Uh, so I guess I, I have, to, I do what I, I like to do what I can to stop it. You know, I, you know, I, I guess as I said before, I see myself as being, in, in a sense, a regulator. Should, should society collapse? You know, I, I just, it, it kind of, um, I, I can't, I don't think I can stand seeing people get hurt um, by, by the dangerous elements of society. And I think it would take, a, and I also think it would take a certain moral character to keep from, uh, I'd say the to maintain the right balance, to keep from going over the edge, start doing, start be, to be, to start being a corrupt individual while you're doing that kind of stuff, you know. Um, 
it take it'll take a it'll take a it will take an incorruptible person. Um that and by no means am I saying I'm incorruptible. I'm um I'm not a perfect person. But there are just certain things that I, I wouldn't want I I know not to do because I know that they're just plain wrong, plain evil. But I, but I think it would take I think certain I think certain I think people of certain um of a certain moral fiber would actually join in that join in that kind of activity. Um, because they see it because they, they recognize that, you know, there's only one brand of justice in this new world. And you know, uh, you know, and it's a shame that it has to come to that, but you know, rather it be that than the continuance of what we have going on nowadays. I remember how I remember how um, I remember the, dis the disgust I felt, you know, after Sandy Hook. I was like, no one could have, couldn't anyone stop this person? Couldn't anyone protected protected those who were vulnerable? Couldn't anyone protected uh, those 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 children and those adults, you know. And I'm pretty sure a lot. Of, I'm pretty sure a lot of good people out there who would who would have taken action, who would have done something to protect the to protect the innocent, to protect uh, those who are vulnerable. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to see a lot. You're going to see people like that uh, when the shit hits the fan. You're, you, know, I mean, of course, you, of course, we all talk about the evil people that were the evil people that we're going to that we're going to encounter. Well, let's also focus on the good people that, that we're going to encounter. Um, in the way, uh, in the, in the, just in the way they conduct, in the way they conduct themselves. I may say that for another. I may, I may save that kind of that discussion for another video. But let's focus on that. Uh, you know, let's focus on the reg uh, the people who will be who will be regulators, and to see what benefit they will actually bring to our communities, to our society. You know, when you know, when all hell is break, uh, all hell is broken. That's my video. You know, these are my opinions. Um, please tell me what you think, or make a video response. Leave a comment. Uh, you know, any gripes, complaints, direct them to me. I just ask you, please be civil to the other people who are leaving comments in this video. But that's it. Regulators in the SHTF environment. I'm Edward Jones, and you take care.